Hi everyone, in this part, I would like to give a summary of the uh, stakeholder identification, which is the very first step of understanding your stakeholders. Okay, um, stakeholder identification, as it sounds, might, might be very um, basic for some of us, but uh, when you try to identify them, next you need to um, understand and then analyze in terms of what you need to work, communicate, and manage them. Okay, uh, stakeholder identification uh, hence takes place before the other steps I mentioned. And once you can identify um, whether that's organizational stakeholders or individual stakeholders, uh, you understand the way in which they show interest or they have some influence directly or indirectly um, on your activities. Okay. Um, as you recall, I always refer to questions uh, on um, any activities and stakeholder identification also requires some question for it. Uh, well, it might sound as simple, but who is affected by the project to me is um, abroad, but also um, give it uh, some time to think about the long and short term impact of our project. Okay. When you answer the question, it is best to orient yourself first to internal stakeholder, then followed by external uh, stakeholder from your organization. Second one would be which business areas are um, affected or which departments and which location are affected by this project. Well, uh, again, once you understand the concept of um, the person, then which area, which can be much broader in terms of geographical or the groups of people who work in the team. Are the people affected who don't define themselves by such affiliation, right? For example, they, they, they are not employees of the project, but um, there might be uh, someone or some organization that indirectly deals with you, for example, the council, uh, the youth union, for example. And the last question is, what about your customers? Which organizational areas and employees are affected by um, their work? Right, so you know more of the indirect um, stakeholders in that sense. Um, well, in order to identify um, your stakeholders in the class, I um, introduced a few tools and techniques which um, can be quite useful. Some of them might be very um, simple for you, but um, just to summarize uh, for this topic, well, um, we start with basic uh, technique, which is um, brainstorming with your colleagues. And then I uh, propose the form that you can use as the tool to collect um, different opinion from your colleagues in terms of who does what as the stakeholders. And has always uh, suggested that uh, starting from internal stakeholder and then out to the external exter uh, stakeholders will be quite useful for you to compile the uh, different um, ideas from your colleagues or your team members. The second tools which I thought it was quite useful was the use of mind mapping um, software or technique, but the software that is uh, freely available on the internet. All right, so once you log into my master with your Google, uh, or you can apply for a membership for free, of course. Just click on there and then you create a new mind map. Uh, once uh, this page emerge, then you can start and uh, you can call it, um, let's say, stakeholder. And once you get the, the list, you can add that person. Let's say it's um, um, Stefan. Uh, and then you go back there. You get another person. You get um, Art, for example. Go back there. Let's say they are five people, okay? Then you have Anna. Oh, sorry. Go back there again and click Anna. Let's say um, James. And then you have, let's say, Courtney. Okay. Well, this will help you to uh, bring these people into um, the picture. And if you want to increase um, indirect stakeholders, Hannah, back there, um, Sharif, 
So you can see the internal and um, external or direct and indirect uh, stakeholder from this uh, slide. And you can also um, add um, specific details that will be quite useful for you as well. For example, under art and you want to, you want to add some uh, explanation under me, you might go for um, some of these emoji or and to be more symbolic, the all icon would be quite useful as well. Priorities number three, but this guy number two, James number one, right? And you can also add um, definition as well. So just just um, a thought that you can use uh, what it available for free online, mymaster.com. Okay. Um, well, I think you can use some of these techniques and tools to, to help you or facilitate the process of stakeholder identification.